Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka is currently meeting with the family of the late Francis Nyanze at the Kitui home. The Waipa leader who has been away from for some time is expected to make his first public address in Kitui. Our reporter Leila Mohamed joins us live from Chondoni village in Kitui county. Leila, what is happening? Well, indeed, uh, Hudaifa Aden uh, Kalonzo Musiaka just arrived here less than 30 minutes ago, and he was in the company of his son, uh, the East African Legislative Assembly legislator now, uh, as well as the governors of both Makweni County and Kitui County, and uh, other leaders from uh, the Wiper Party. And uh, at the moment, they're inside uh, the White House behind, and uh, they're just consoling and having discussions with the family of the late Nyenze. Remember, after uh, the burial of the late Nyenze, there were discussions that his late, uh, the late uh, Nyenze's wife would take over from him in the politics of this constituency and uh, probably those are some of the issues that will come up in that discussion. He's expected to leave the house and go straight to the graveside. There is a large tree uh, where the remains of Honorable Nyenze lie before he moves to my left where residents of Chondoni village and Kitui County at large are here gathered uh, to listen to their wife, party leader. Remember, he's been out of the country for the last two months now. The last time he was seen in public uh, was the day when Raila Odinga was declaring that he had officially uh, left uh, the race for the October 26th uh, re-election of the presidency seat. And after that, he left uh, for Germany with his wife, who has been ailing for a while. Uh, they are here back in the country. Uh, when we have spoken to those who know uh, the Kalonzos well, uh, uh, the Musiokas rather, they tell us that uh, she's doing well and that is why they have come back to the country. So it's really a, an important day for Kalonzo Musioka to be heard publicly, remembering the fact that uh, his co-principal, Raila Odinga, has been moving forward with the uh, aspect of a swearing-in ceremony, which he says will take place early in January, which is just a few days away. So we want to get uh, Kalonzo Musioka's side. What are his views on uh, that? those events and what is the future of uh, the coalition? What are their plans going into 2018, Hudaifa? Of course, there are some wrangles within the opposition outfit, NASA, about sharing of parliamentary committees and a lot of uh, WIPA MPs are saying that they have been shortchanged by their colleagues from ODM. Are we hearing anything about what WIPA leadership is saying about the same? Well, they haven't come out clearly to say whether they support one side or the other. Uh, remember, the ODM party has always said that uh, uh, these uh, circumstances that they sat down and they agreed upon, it's not only the Wiper coalition that has come out to complain about this issue. Remember, there are also some members of ODM within that particular fold from the coastal city, and uh, they claim that they have been truthful and loyal to the party, and yet they feel that they are being shortchanged also, the ANC, some were complaining. However, their party leader, Musalia Mudavadi, said he is strongly within the coalition and he supports everything that is going to be done. Remember, uh, all these issues are not new to the opposition. Currently, there is some internal wrangling within the Jubilee fold. Remember yesterday, uh, Alfred Keter and three of his uh, colleagues from the members of parliament, Tuka, uh, Aden Duale and Benjamin Washali, uh, together with Justin Motori to court and Aden Duale has come out clearly to say that those are matters that should be taken care of within the party systems and has nothing totally to do with the parliamentary systems or the courts. So wrangling is uh, part and parcel of public life, especially in the political fold. And uh, we will, if we are given an opportunity, we will ask Kalonzo Musioka. Of course, there are so many questions he will be expecting from the media this afternoon. Uh, that of the uh, the health of his wife, of course, uh, the future of uh, the coalition, as well as those particular issues that you have put up in terms of wrangling within the NASA fold. Uh, thank you very much, Leila. That is our reporter, Leila Mohammed, live from Kitui West, actually at the house of former Kitui West Member of Parliament, Francis Nyenze, where Kalonzo Musioka is visiting, and of course she would be bringing us the latest when it comes to matters pertaining swearing in of Raila and Kalonzo early next year. But